In the previous video, we discussed with you how to form your mining portfolio, but after that we have the following questions, how to work with this portfolio. When coins come out on the stock exchange, at what rate they come out, when they grow, when they fall, there are many questions, but today we have another portion of information, let's go. I want to note that this video is a continuation of the previous one, so if you haven't watched the previous one, first watch it, and then turn on this one. For the reason that, let's go back to the previous video. We have 4x, y, z coins in our portfolio with the values indicated in the table. We will achieve 100% of the annual payback by exchanging coins at these rates. What is liquid mining? This is an application that simplifies the possibility of mining for users around the world. Leckit Mining works with the proof work system, that is, getting a profit from work. How does the proof work system work? Let's look at the example of the X project. Blockchain appeared, as Bitcoin appeared in the 2009th year or Ether appeared in the 2014th year. This is the first event, that is, the birth of the blockchain. In order for this blockchain chain to develop, a miner is connected. The miner performs data processing actions, that is, it writes a new block, block 2. For the fact that he has added a new block, he receives back a reward in the form of coins. This is the so-called block reward. And it happens all the time. The third event, the fourth event, and so on. What is this event? These are transfers between wallets, this is the development of the chain itself, these are new events, that is, this is any information related within the blockchain. This is in very simple words. In order to record the next block, the manner needs to return to the first event, check the chronology of events. Indeed, the first follows the second, the second follows the third, the third follows the fourth, in order to rewrite the fifth block. If the rechecked data is true, the fifth block appears. From this, the miner receives additional mine. What does this mean? This means that each subsequent block is an increase in complexity. From here we have a graph. Time complexity graph. The complexity is constantly growing. We will also have the time parameter, but here we will already have the value of the coin, then we can pay attention that any coin can have ups, there can be downs, ups, downs, and so on. The period of rise and the period of fall. What does this mean? A coin that has been developing for a long time, it has the concept of entering a bear market and entering a bull market. In times of a bear market, coins fall, in times of a bullish trend, coins rise. Accordingly, if you notice that each subsequent cycle is higher than the previous one, there is a logical explanation for this. Why? Because a miner who performs the work of processing blockchain chains, he receives a reward in coins. The quantitative reward of coins is not growing because the number of miners is being added. Accordingly, in order for him to continue doing this work, he needs to change these coins for money and thereby pay his expenses. Taking into account the fact that the complexity that we indicated on the graph is growing incredibly constantly. Based on this, each subsequent action for the miner becomes more expensive than the previous one. And in order for him to pay for his actions, the value of the coin must grow with difficulty. This is a very clear theory, which is easy to test on Bitcoin, Ether, Flux, CASP and hundreds, and even thousands of coins that develop according to the Krupov work system. Accordingly, each, I emphasize once again, each subsequent takeoff is higher than the previous one. This suggests that the project, which is developing, has positive aspects that push the market up. The project also has negative aspects that push the market down. But in the course of time, each subsequent takeoff is higher than the previous one. Let's look further. We have a Project X, which has not yet been released on the stock exchange. We are waiting for this event. This is the zero mark, after which the project goes on the stock exchange and begins to develop. Conventionally, 
the first takeoff is event 1, the second takeoff is event 2, the third is event 3, and so on. And these are our exit points. Accordingly, in the previous video, we considered that in the X project we divided the portfolio into four orders. The first order is 100 coins, the second order is 100 coins, the third order is 100 coins and the fourth order is 60 coins. Let's transfer all this to the table. That is, for the X project, in order to achieve 100% annual payback, as we said in the previous video, it is necessary to achieve a rate of 1 whole 83 hundredths. In order to get 200% per annum, you need to get 3 whole 66 hundredths, 300% 5,52 and 500% per annum 9,15. A lot of numbers, a lot of percentages, but then it will be easier. Consider the timeline. The X project, which originated, relatively speaking, at the beginning of the 22nd year, has ways of development. The start of the mining of the X project began at the beginning of the 22nd year. As soon as mining has started, as in any project, there is the minimum number of miners, which means that the level of monetization during mining is the maximum. Accordingly, the goal of the liquid project is to enable miners to connect precisely in the first months of the project's mining start. Subsequently, as the number of miners in the network increases, the amount of monetization decreases. Well, immediately before the listing, of course, the number of manners is already maximum for the reason that there is already information that the project will develop further, because, as a rule, if the project goes on the stock exchange, then it develops further. Accordingly, the time of liquidation is exactly the period from the moment of inception to the listing itself. What does our analytics department do? Many people wonder that analytics is the prediction of some courses or something else. No. The task of our specialists is to analyze the roadmap of the project and see how many positive events there will be that can encourage the growth of the course. There are a huge number of projects in the world today that write that they will roll up mountains of gold, but in fact they do not do it. That is, these are scam projects, scammers, or people who overestimated their capabilities. This is our task to study those who released this project into the world, get to know the developers themselves, see if they have enough funding, what partners they have, who is the investor and dozens of other parameters, based on which we will conclude whether this project is worth adding to liquid mining. But today we are considering the conditions when the project still passed the selection of our analytics department, and this is the result of their work. According to the roadmap of the X project, we observe that since the start of the listing, a large number of different positive aspects are planned, such as entering new exchanges, creating their own wallets, integrating into mining pools, and maybe even creating their own mining pool, merging with some large corporations, with banks. Not all these events will be visible in the roadmap, but in the future, as the project develops, we will monitor social networks, messengers, how the community develops in the project and all the positive moments that can prompt the next growth of the coin, they will be recorded in our news portals. Let's take an example. We have divided the X project into four stages. The first stage is 100 coins, which we put up according to the previous video at the rate of 183. This is order number one, this is order number two, order number three and order number four, respectively. According to the time of development of the project, we see that from the moment of listing, one order has worked. And this gives us a primary payback, that is, an exit from the first order. The first order worked. Observing the development of the coin, we see that the coin has its own wallet, respectively, this is a positive moment and it encourages investors to start investing in the coin, and this provokes an increase in the exchange rate. Accordingly, this event gave another increase in the exchange rate of the coin and order 2 also worked for us. The second order is closed. With the passage of time, we learn that the coin goes to a new exchange, a new listing. As a rule, a new listing is another surge in the value of a coin. 
Our order at the rate of 552 has already been placed on the primary exchange and is awaiting its growth. As soon as the coin is listed on the exchange, this is another surge of purchases, another increase in the exchange rate and, accordingly, the third order is also closed. The fourth order in the entire portfolio is, as a rule, an order for the distant future. An example is the Flux project. The Flux project appeared relatively recently, but already in its time it has made more than 10,000%. The CAST project is 9,000%, it is only two years old. The Nanoxa project, the Nexa project, and so on. In a few years, these projects have made tens of thousands of percent. Accordingly, in your portfolio of coins that you collect, the last order should always be in a large position. 500% is a small position, these are just examples. We have many positions worth 5000%, 6000%, and from time to time, as your portfolio grows, as time goes by, orders are triggered one by one. And these orders give the same profit, followed by all the miners of the world without installing work with the blockchain chain. Let's summarize today's video. You are already starting to form a portfolio. There are already a number of positions in your portfolio. Given the fact that the complexity of the project is constantly growing, this encourages the growth of the value of the coin. In order for you to pay off your project, you need to split your coins into positions. How to split these positions, how to form these tables, we will discuss with you in the next video. Well, today we finish our video. Have a wonderful weekend, see you soon.